What's up guys? If you are watching this video right now because you want to question and know if you're a cocaine addict, odds are you probably are. In this video here, I am a recovering cocaine addict. I'm going to share with you what it's like to really understand and know if you are a cocaine addict or not. They are recreational drugs and let's face it, a lot of people have done drugs in their lifetime but have never gotten addicted. Cocaine is one of those rare drugs that when you go to NA and you go to AA and you hear people talk about drug use, you hear about heroin, you hear about meth, you don't hear a lot about cocaine. But this is how to tell if you are truly addicted to cocaine. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. What's up guys, my name is Eric. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist, I'm none of that. I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD, and MDD. Those are my official diagnoses. Level one autism, I lost a wife and a father to suicide. I attempted suicide, I've been in therapy, I've self-harmed before, uh, I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict, and I like to share my struggles in life and what I've been through in life so that nobody feels like they're going through life alone. One of the biggest things that I had struggled with for a very long time was cocaine addiction, because I never really felt like you could get addicted to cocaine. Like You never saw like homeless people addicted to cocaine. They were heroin addicts or they were meth addicts. I never ever ran into anybody who was just falling apart in life, but they were a cocaine addict. And that's not necessarily true. I mean, if you are questioning if you're a cocaine addict, I can tell you this. If you're using the drug a couple times a week, a couple times a month even, you have that addictive principle. If you are sitting back and you constantly start to think about this drug, you start to think about the high, you start to romanticize about it in your head. Or you even start looking forward to like parties or looking forward to get togethers where there will be cocaine there. That odds are that means that you have formed a habit to this. That means that you are going down that addiction route. My cocaine habit didn't become this massive addiction right off the bat. In fact, when I first started using cocaine, I would literally budget it out and be like, oh, here's my little bit for the month. And then, you know, next month I'd go back to my little bag and here's a little bit for the month. But it slowly progressed, and that's the hardest thing about being an addict is you don't really recognize or realize that progression. And, and when you start to realize how bad that progression is, next thing you know, you're in your underwear, sweating, hot plating coat, trying to pick out chunks out of your carpet, and you're carpet surfing, you're, you're on the, the floorboards of your car, trying to pick it off of the floorboards of your car, because you are craving and seeking that high so bad. And once you hit that point, you are a full-blown addict. I can tell you this, if you're watching videos out there that are trying to find out signs if you're a cocaine addict or find out signs if you are abusing cocaine, odds are you probably are because your body never really just says, hey, we're really reaching that point right now where this is no longer a recreation. This is not going down the part of true addiction. We don't ever reach that point. It, it, you literally go from start to stop immediately. And we don't realize it along the way. I never did. I just felt like I always had control over this. And if you feel like, ah, what this guy's saying is crap. You know, I have control over my addiction. I'm, I'm not that addicted. I can stop at any time. Those kind of phrases to yourself just signifies and shows how bad and how strong your addiction truly is. Because you have to start self-justifying. Your addiction will literally subconsciously take over. And you can justify, I can stop at any time. I don't really need it. My life is happy without it. I, I am complete without it. You know, I don't, I can go, you know, days, weeks, months without having this. I only do it for fun. When you start realizing and, and noticing in your brain those instant justifications, you're already going down that side of addiction because no logical brain says, hey, this is an illegal drug. I'm only going to recreationally do it every now and then. We don't, we, you don't justify stuff like that. Like the insanity of being sober and saying this, of things that I had said to myself, just kind of makes me laugh of like, dude, this is like, this is what it used to be like for me. I would justify this addiction. I would justify my high. I would justify my need to it. And if anyone ever questioned or came after my addiction, I would blow it off. And it was very easy to like diffuse of going, you know, oh, I don't really need this, you know, oh, I know that it's illegal. Uh, it's, it's a lot of money, so I don't do it a whole lot. And, and I would literally make up how little I would do to cover over how much I really did do. It, it took that opposite effect. Like when you're recreationally doing it, you're like, dude, we did a lot of coke last night. Man, when you are addicted, you play it down like, oh, I haven't really touched this stuff, even though you've done coke three days, four days out of the week. And it is that strong of an addiction. And people don't, we don't give it enough credit as a true addiction, I don't believe. I mean, heroin, fentanyl, I mean, those overdoses, people are dying from it. Um, when it comes to opiate pills and the opiate ac epidemic, it comes to meth. I mean, those drugs do get a lot of attention and it's a very different stigma around those drugs than it is cocaine. Because let's face it, 
who does cocaine? You know, well, actors do, wealthy people do, successful people do. You know, we have it glamorized as this beautiful drug when in reality it's not, and it does destroy a ton of lives. And the unfortunate thing is, is it's usually probably not coke that's going to get you. Uh, eventually, you start going down the path of trying to find something else that will mirror that coke high. And now you're on the road of meth. You're on the road of something that's an upper that gives you somewhat of the same feeling, a lot cheaper, even more dangerous. And you don't even realize it. And all you're doing to yourself that whole entire time is justifying it. If you find yourself justifying your addiction, man, you are an addict. And it's not my place to call any addict. Like, believe me, this isn't my, my pep talk speech, my soapbox speech of like, hey, if you feel this way, you need to come to NA and you need to get your, no, dude, any addict is going to get themselves sober when they're ready to get sober. That's the reality of it. And for the harsh reality of it, some people don't get sober until they're put into the ground. And some people don't get sober until they're put into jail. That is the reality of addiction. But this is for anybody out there, maybe that 1% people who are just kind of like, man, I'm at this crossroads right now where I kind of think this is taking over my life. Man, if you feel or you're starting to question if this is taking over your life, it is. I mean, if you notice yourself not being able to pay bills anymore because your coke addiction is more important, if you notice yourself missing work, missing uh, important engagements because that coke is more important, that is, that's true addiction. That is what addiction is. It's truly a disease. It's something that's in your brain. It's in your head so much that you need this, that it's like your happiness. It's your soul. And you're not going to be complete until you have this. That is the continual talk of what an addict is, is, oh, when you have it, if it's like taking that deep breath of fresh air for the first time, that means that you are addicted to it and that you are that drawn to it, that it has literally engulfed your whole life. And it's hard because let's face it, you know, we'll sit back and we'll have those moments of, of sobriety in a sense where we're like, dude, this has control of my life. Like I'm going to get fired from my job soon if I don't stop. I've done all this stuff to mess up my life. I'm starting to lie to friends and family. You know, I, I can't make up many more excuses at work. I, I got to get sober from this. And then all of a sudden we realize, you know, you go to sleep, you wake up and it's a new day and you're like, ah, no, I, I, I can, I can keep this going for a little bit. I mean, that is addiction and it's truly disheartening it's truly hard to see somebody go through addiction i can tell you this if you're doing research and trying to find out how to help an addict the best way to help an addict is to support them and not enable them and what enabling is is, is buying into the lies making up excuses for them giving them money is a big one you know people are like oh but it's a family member it's a friend i don't want to see him homeless dude let him be homeless bro you gotta let him hit rock bottom and hope that they pick themselves up. Otherwise, all you're doing is you're pretty much just walking them to the tombstone. Because addicts don't stop. You know, I didn't hit, I didn't stop until I hit rock bottom. I had to hit that moment in my life where I'm crying in bed. I'm fucking sobbing in bed. And my ex-wife was next to me and I'm just like, what am I doing with my life? How did I get here? And I had to be honest with myself and be like, dude, it's literally, I, my life is ruled by alcohol and coke. And I need to stop both of them immediately. Otherwise, yeah, I might be able to pull myself back out of this and I'm going to make it all work, but I'm going to end up back here too eventually. And it was hard and getting sober was not an easy journey, but man, I can tell you this, it was worth it. And no coke high have I had that has ever compared to some of the highs I've had now when I'm sober and when I'm successful at life or I'm achieving a goal in life and that feeling, that uplifting feeling that coke used to give me doesn't even compare to the uplifting feeling in life now when I'm, I'm accomplishing a goal and I'm seeing my life get better. That is what it's all about. And that's when you know that you started to really break through that addiction. I mean, if you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. Comment down below. Comment what, you know, you've shown in yourself that, hey, these were signs that I was a coke addict. I might not have rattled them off here because that's what it's about. It's about having everybody not feel alone, knowing that you're not alone, and then also knowing to reach out for help. I got links down below to NA and AA for anybody that's an addict. At least check them out. I'm not saying that it's the only way to get sober. There are different rehabs. There's inpatient. There's outpatient. There's different recovery centers. There's a lot of different ways to get sober, and I won't ever turn and, and, and scrutinize anybody's way that they got sober because getting sober is getting sober, and that is beautiful alone. So if you are struggling out there, though, reach out for help. If you want to get sober, the first part is you got to let everybody in your life know that you're an addict. Just let, let them know. And nobody in your life is going to look at you and go, really, you were an addict? I didn't know that. No, they all know that you're an addict. As best as you think you can hide that stuff, you cannot hide it from them. So be open, be honest. Let everybody know that you're struggling and start from that first day. And that's where it all comes from. I mean, hit the like and subscribe button. Comment down below. I believe in you. And for the people out there starting their journey right now, you got this. And I know that it gets hard sometimes, but believe me, there's a lot of days that it's going to start getting better and better and better and better. 
You got this.